Justin. I play percussion. I'm Derek. I do guitar. I'm Tyson. I play bass and the synth. And we're Mad Violet. I knew Tyson from middle school. I've worked at Enchant Forest with Derek. My grandfather started a theme park in 1971, I think it opened. Started building it in 69. It's literally this uh, right down the hill from my house. It's technically on property right now. Um, and it's just a theme park my family built. And um, we worked there together. A lot of our friends have worked there together. Not Tyson. I tried to apply there. He tried to apply there. He didn't, school, but I didn't, get he the didn't job. smile enough. Yeah, it, he wasn't professional. They hired so. everybody. I was yeah. probably like, first school to get a job. But yeah, so uh, that's, that's really how I first met Dusty. And he was a friend of a friend of a friend. And um, we totally connect over video games, like he's saying, and, and, and then music, too. Um, and then now, more so music. You know, we, don't, we don't play as much Halo as we used to. I do. He does. Yeah, he totally does. So, so. Me and Dusty used to play in this two-piece we called Swearwolf. And we would attempt to revive it every once in a while, maybe. Um, and then... What we were jamming with a bunch of other guys, and Tyson joined us. But Tyson's a really good guitar player, and he was playing guitar in that project, and uh, he played bass in this project. I mean, we just kind of didn't have anything else going on, and mm -hmm. luckily he was willing to play bass, and and it worked out. Um, we thought we were going to be pulling a lot of songs from Swearwolf at some point, but this is all just uh, Mad Violet stuff, and Dusty. Uh, Maybe I shouldn't t say anything about the name. It's like fine, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, there's this. Is it a vineyard or a type? It's of... a ripoff. I went to a winery called <laughs> yeah. Mad Violets, and I said to myself, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna name a band that one day." So I took off the S and Mad Violet. And yeah, we liked it. So. It's uh, certainly not punk. Nothing against punk. But people have said it's punk. But uh, with, with Derek's unique, sometimes organesque sounding guitar, Tyson's uh, doomy yet catchy bass, and my simplistic heavy drumming, it comes out to uh, our interpretation of rock. That's more old fashioned else. rock and roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For a while, we didn't even think we'd ever throw a bass in, or I mean a synth in, but. Because um, we like keeping it super raw, but like even when we went and recorded, like we, like we were pretty adamant in not doing a bunch of extra shit, you know, not overdubbing a bunch of stuff, and it's just the instruments, and and that's kind of how they came out, and we're done with that now, and hopefully that'll be out soon. So now we're Earth Ambient Soundscape Techno. Yes, yes, that's the best way to describe it. Actually, <laughs> I think that disguises us in a nutshell. Is that? Can we have a full-length record? No, it's just a di three songs. What do you call that? Mm -hmm. Demo. I don't yeah, know. like a little demo. Yeah, just a little demo. We're recording with our buddy Will from Mandark, so he's recording us, and you know, it's been super helpful and honestly, like, saved us a lot of headaches. Yeah, being they did a really good job too. Like, they're gonna turn out real good. So thanks, Will. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, Will. Watching more. Love you, Will. Um, but yeah, so we're excited about that. Yeah. So this month on the 27th we're playing at the graveyard mm -hmm. with a band with from band. portland i'm forgetting from the name. portland I, think called, like, I don't know i'm probably butchering the name i listened to a few of the songs they're, they're pretty cool great guys yeah, yeah. Great guys. they had like an npr like tiny desk thing it's pretty cool Big so band. we're excited we're excited we played there once we like the graveyard it's it's fun it's fun crap so yeah one two three Gang a load, baby, now you can tell me so Got a load that comes with you, and I'm leaning nowhere Got a load that comes with you, and I'm leaning nowhere Well, my 
personal preference, I want to do 70s rock, but Derek Scott, like I said, a really unique sound. I could play it. I think we all have, <laughs> like, I we tried, all like, I rock, could play but, like, different, like, yeah. I don't know, like, branches of it. So it's just, like, a mix of kind of, like, all of our, like, influences. Yeah, like Dusty said, he likes, like, classic, like, old school kind you of You always rock. hear him working on John Bonham, yeah. you know, parts, and he's just... And I think it shows, too, because, he, you know, Dusty's drumming, he's, his footwork and his ambidextrity is just like, you know, the old school shit we used to listen to, or still listen to, you know? And it's just, I couldn't, I can't, I'm not a very fast player, and a lot of that rock was, I just couldn't play it. So it's just like my interpret, like, I just did the best I could at rock and roll to his yeah. to his 70s hella good uh drum beats and then tyson just did his interpretation over it and then we didn't we just i couldn't we couldn't play any different i guess you know that's just what came out and now it's like we're still throwing shit at the wall or sorry we're still throwing crap at the wall and <laughs> you can say shit. okay uh uh we're still throwing crap at the wall and uh still getting new sounds you know mm -hmm. and still finding like we haven't hit a dry spot yet. It's more so that there's an an overabundance of songs ideas coming in that it's like, oh god, well, where do we st where do we go now? I don't know. What about this new one? It's like, oh well, there's another new one. What about this one? Oh, I forgot about that one. And it's just so we're we're still having a lot of fun creating whatever the hell it is, Mad Violet it is, and and uh, we have some songs like No Signal that are very like I'd say reminiscent of old school yeah, like rock, old, like. Arena rock, yeah, like, just very real driving, dri yeah, driven songs, and 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 then just some that are like summertime, that is so um, mm -hmm. kind of mellow and bouncy, and I guess a little more indie than than like than no signals, you know. So I think we try to avoid being bored, really. Mm -hmm. So it's you got to get interesting <clears throat> with it. We've literally went some. There's parts in. Um, as seen that Dusty just sang with his mouth and then we went and tried him and it worked, you know? So we're, we're also like, it'll get frustrating at times, but it's also like we, I've learned too, to just let him try it. You know, you can always say no, but then we get these really random kind of quirky ideas that kind of make us us now because we just decided to do the, the random idea that seemed crazy when we we're outside taking a smoke break. But then when we went and actually workshopped it, like, yeah, that's what makes us us because I think a lot of other projects would be like, well, that doesn't fit the song. You know, that doesn't make any sense there. It's like, well, let's make it make sense. Even Sometimes if, it doesn't make sense. And a lot, of times, <laughs> a lot of times it doesn't. Dusty's exactly right. But if we don't try it, then I think that's where our songs are going to start sounding all the same. Mm -hmm. Let's just get crazy with it. Let's get weird. That's why when Tyson brought the synth, you know, we're like, well, let's try it. We had written <laughs> how many songs at that point without it, and we used it sparingly because it's just an idea machine, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Idea Machine. Idea Machine. That's a good New band name. Band We're band Idea Machine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I like that. Thank you for the time. Anything else you want to bring? You right. want to bring it. Longer songs. I think that's what we lack. Mm -hmm. It's... Um, I feel like one of our downfalls is we don't give much time for the listener to lay their head, metaphorically speaking, on music. That's uh, that's what I feel like we need to work on. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that is, you know, that's that is definitely something we struggle with because uh, I think when you're writing music. It's just like, and you're working on it all the time. Like, you don't want to sit there and play that riff for 22 times if you just screwed it up and you got to go do it again. <laughs> but really, it just takes more discipline on our part. And I think, you know, as far as like, I guess what we're trying to bring to the table, I think it's, I, I guess, nothing. It's kind of to try to be vague and just let the music go out there. Like, we don't necessarily want to piss people off, but we want to be able to call stuff out. Um, I guess and, and when you go to the show we don't want it to be about politics kind of stuff that's just not who we are we want you to just listen to music have a good time you know we don't want you to go outside of the show and argue with the people it's just like hopefully we can be one of those bands that kind of brings a lot of ran random uh, 
people you wouldn't expect to a, a place together and they're just worried about the music. We're not sitting here going, fuck, so, oh shoot, screw this guy, blah, 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 <laughs> down with this. Because it's like, all, you know, although we may feel certain ways about things, maybe at our shows, that's not the time we want you to feel that way. Guitar player, but you're playing bass in this band. How do you yeah. how do you approach the bass? How do you how do you um, come into that? I kind of approach it just like a guitar, like make sure I'm like you know following the root notes, kind of whatever Derek's playing, like, and then just do a little diddlies here and there, throw in some some groovy stuff. I don't know, <laughs> but I like I like that you play it like that, you yeah. know, and, and I like it... I play through like a like a hundred watt guitar head. I crank it all the way up for the bass, so like tubes get nice and hot and break up, and especially with the bass, it just gets this like big, like beefy sound. And I think that's partly what our sound is too, is the fact that Tyson uses these. He bought he. I'm playing on his equipment too, and they're just these beefy, beefy fridges yeah, we have to haul jams. around everywhere <laughs> they're a pain in the ass but it's yeah, like built in dolly yeah and it's <laughs> one just, of the wheels broke. one of the wheels broken now it's just even harder but we, we got to buy a caster oh, yeah. <laughs> but um they're just like the moment you start wheeling them in people go okay i'm gonna stick around it's almost see like out. a look of disappointment goes yeah through, like, especially so oh i thought right. i was gonna have a conversation today yeah. well <laughs> not these guys now when these guys are playing so names our songs he really does maybe not karate arson but we'll just sit oh, out yeah, yeah. we'll sit outside and just be like what do you think it says and we're like i don't know and then he'll be like blank and they're like well i guess we'll just call it that for now and it's like no nope, that's just what it is now and usually i don't have lyrics yet so that's what i end up writing about too so <laughs> does will just decide oh, I, I hear this it's like okay well i guess that's that's what it is and then you can't unthink it you know mm-hmm. once you start working on it that's what it is yeah, there's still some songs we play live that I don't have lyrics to, and I just have the hooks and stuff. And I, I what I say, I sing the same stuff now, but it's not like it's really fixed yet. You set know, in stone. It's, yeah, set in stone. I'm still working out parts. So yeah, generally the lyrics are kind of the last thing I do because I I used to just write lyrics and then we'd completely scrap a part or we would change it. Or we'd forget about it. next practice, we'd play it different, but like it the way we played it this time, you know? And then all of a sudden you're going, oh, well, I, that was, I just wrote all this stuff, but now it doesn't fit. So it's just like, I'm kind of, we're kind of writing it as we go. And I just sing live and whatever comes out, if they like it, then I'll write lyrics, you know? So I find, it's, we'll find the melody first, you know, because I think it's just the melody is the last instrument. So once all the instrumentation's good, we find the melody. And then we'll do the lyrics, and as long as they like the lyrics, we're good. And we'll just, you know, we'll discuss it. We've discussed, like, we, there was a time when we were recording this album where I went and changed the lyrics because I wanted to be clever or whatever, and they didn't work. They just didn't work. And we had to have the conversation of going back and recording them, and I'm so glad we did because the, the old way was better. So it's just the, how it was written when we wrote the song and we were feeling that live energy, that was the best way to do it. Right, and sitting there with headphones and trying to be clever. So, um, we're going to uh, Valor Studios downtown, and gonna do a single up there. This one guy we kind of met out of the blue asked if we wanted to come in and record a single. So, starting that like next month, I think. Yeah, and it'll be more of like a studio. It'll be very. It'll be probably be the most produced we've ever been, and so that's also kind of a test in the waters of us because we're gonna try it because it's like why not? We we it's a free opportunity. We're very thankful for it too. So it's it's and a good learning experience. A great learning experience because we're gonna have to kind of step out of our element here. We may have to try doing some metronome stuff because this is free and they won't want us, you know, whatever. So we'll figure that out when we get there. But might as well step out of our too because maybe we decide we'll never do it that way again. Maybe we decide we love it. And we want to do it that way. We're still a pretty new band. How long have we been 
the gallery. <clears throat> a little over a year. Yeah. Just a little over a year, and, and like, you know, the first six months of that was like, not, you know, maybe we had three songs, you know, so it's like, we didn't start playing shows all that long ago. We've maybe played seven now. So like you played seven or eight. So it's, we're still in the process of figuring out, but, um, you know, we're getting there. Support local music. Um, yeah. Support your venues. I, that's my biggest thing is, um, you know, buying online is cool, but when you come to the shows, it really benefits a lot of people. It's not just benefiting us, it's benefiting the venues. It's benefiting, you know, having more people at a show makes it more enjoyable. So I just say, you know, if you can do anything, just support, not even just us, local music. There's a lot of good bands out there, and there's a lot of good venues that really would love your business and they'll treat you really good. And yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.